Hello, hello everyone. Today we are going to be talking about creating a development plan. And what I'm going to show you today is a model from the GROW framework that you can use to enter a development plan into Workday. So what you should have already done is created a SMART goal and that SMART goal should live in your performance evaluation. So today I'll show you how to take that SMART goal and implement it into a development plan so that you can have a plan to achieve that goal. So what you will do first is open up Workday and just go up here to the uh, search bar and you're going to type in start my development plan and that will pop up for you. And here for the review template, you're going to choose by type an employee check-in and typically you'll choose today's date. I've been testing it, so I'll probably choose something in the future and use the same date for the start and end date. So today's date. And open and then you'll get started. So already we have this template for you and We've got the GROW model, like I said. So first off, you've got your goals. What is your SMART goal? Then you'll move into the second portion, the reality. What's happening right now? What progress has been made? Is there anything that still needs to be done? And then you'll move into obstacles. Are there any internal, external obstacles out there that might um, prohibit you from completing your goals? And what is your willingness, ability to achieve this goal? Is there anything that your manager can do to help you um, meet those expectations? And then finally, you will summarize. So for time's sake, I've already typed mine out. I'm just going to copy and paste them. Okay, so I've got these all in here for you and I'll give you just an example of what a goal might be. Um, by March, I want to learn how to use the functions of Excel to allow for data analysis and presentations so that I can start helping our department better understand and present its impact on student academic success. So for a reality, you might put, okay, I know the basics of Excel. It, I know enough to be able to do the job that I have right now, but my work is always evolving and to be better equipped on the data, I need to be able to expand my knowledge. For the obstacles and options, um, it could be we're currently working on a major project that has a February deadline. I'll need to plan my work accordingly. So each day I carve out time for training. And then here's more of the specifics. So your willingness, the ability to achieve and what is going to keep you motivated. So the plan is each month between now and January, I will complete a LinkedIn learning course and then I outline which ones I need to take. And along the way, I'll have regular check-ins with my manager every five to six weeks so that I can discuss um, maybe how I can use what I'm learning so far. And then just a really brief summary of what you just typed. Then I'll click next. And I can see an overview. I'll click, click Submit. And here it's going to my manager, so I will log in as her now. So now you can see I'm logged in as my manager and in her inbox, she will be able to see my check-in. So she'll just click Get Started and she will be able to see all of the answers I put for my development plan here on the right. And then for time's sake, we will just type some text here, but in theory, she really would go in, give me all of the comments and feedback to the development plan, and then she would click next. She would be able to have one final overview, and then she will be submitting it back to me. So I'll go back in as myself. Now that I'm back in as myself, I can go back to my inbox and I can see that my manager has looked at my development plan. And I can go in and review everything that she said along, um, alongside everything that I have added for my plan. Click next. And then I have the option to either acknowledge the review without comments, or if I'd like to add a comment, I'll choose this. Type in a comment and hit submit. 
that's it. You just completed your first development plan. So let's say you wanted to look at your development plan a few weeks into the future. The way that you would find that is going to your profile and clicking on performance. And then you would want to click on development plans and you can view that right here. I hope that was helpful and I hope you have a great day.